Hello everyone, welcome to the new 3 minute series for prelims. In this video we will be discussing about nuclear suppliers group that is NSG. Currently there are 4 MECRs that is multilateral export control regimes. These are a kind of grouping countries that have collaborated for the development of critical technologies for both civilian and military applications. They are Australia group which deals with the control of chemical and biological technologies that, can, that could be weaponized while Vasinar arrangement deals with conventional arms and dual use goods. Here dual use implies both civilian and military applications. While MTCR that is missile technology control regime deals with the rockets and other varial vehicles which are capable of delivering weapons of mass destruction. This grouping that is NSG was founded in the year 1974 as a response to India's nuclear testing that is Operation Smiling Buddha which was a peaceful nuclear explosion. NSG contributes to the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons by providing guidelines for nuclear exports that is both fuel and technologies. NSG restricts the exports of nuclear fuel and technologies to non-NSG members as rogue state can convert the civilian nuclear technologies to for military applications. For prelims perspective, please remember that India is already a part of Australia group Vasinar arrangement and MTCR and it is not part of NSG for which it is trying very hard to get into. NSG works basically on consensus basis that is if a new country wants to gain access to the NSG then the country's membership has to be accepted, accepted by all the current countries. India's membership has been blocked continuously by China and a group of other countries like Italy, Malaysia and Turkey citing the rule of India's non-signatory of NPT that is Nuclear Proliferation Treaty. Now let us see how NSG helps India. It helps in accessing the state of the art nuclear technologies in developed countries such as USA and Japan. It also helps in make boosting the Make in India campaign where we can build our nuclear power plants with the foreign collaboration in India itself. It also helps in India's INDCs that is Intended Nationally Determined Contributions that was promised as part of Paris Agreement in 2015 where India said that the 40% of the energy requirements will be met through renewables by the year 2030. Access to NSG will help in a guaranteed supply of nuclear fuel that is uranium from nuclear rich countries. For example, Namibia holds the fourth largest reserves of nuclear fuel but it is unable to sell the fuel to India because India is not a member of NSG. Now let us solve this question. What are the consequences or consequences of a country becoming the member of NSG? It will have access to the latest and most efficient nuclear technologies. It will automatically become a member of the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. Kindly pause the video and solve for this question. As we can see statement 2 is wrong because signing of NPT is a mandatory requirement before joining NSG and not vice versa and the statement 1 is correct therefore the correct answer is A. For more such videos on basic concepts subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.